post game with head coach Dwayne Salisbury and coach first off start talking about what was clicking in that first half I think you guys built up a 21 point lead at one point in time there in the first half uh, talk about the first 15 minutes we played great basketball uh, I thought we were moving the ball well we were making shots we were playing good defense uh, we were going downhill everything that we worked on we were doing it was the tell of two halves those things that you guys got away from in the second half? Uh, we, did, we weren't moving the ball very well, and we were not getting stops. The first half, we were getting consecutive stops in a row. And then uh, the second half, uh, they, were able to, they were able to make a run, and we couldn't, we couldn't stop the bleeding. They made some big threes there in, in that mm -hmm. first 10 minutes of that half, but they stopped making those and, and started. you started to force them inside a little bit more. Was that something you were happy with your kids making that adjustment to at least force them to make a different way as far as... You know, I'm not sure we forced them to do anything or, the, or they just decided to go inside. Uh, whatever it was, we didn't do a good job stopping it that second half. Uh, you know, it just was a poorly, poorly executed game from the coaches to the to the players from my from me to the players that second half it was uh, I'm not sure I've ever coached a game so bad what what uh, you know, what kind of makes you say that what why are you so critical of, of the way you you know just uh, you know uh, not using your timeouts well enough right now to to stop those runs um, and just you know I just feel like uh, our guys were their legs were dead you know just 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 didn't feel it didn't feel right you know Last one from me, Coach, and that's you, you talk a little bit just about the the final outside of that three and a half minutes where they really pulled away. There was about mm -hmm. a four and a half minute stretch where it was back and forth, kind mm -hmm. of trading leads. What's what's the difference in in you guys going on a run there and getting some defensive stops versus the you just said it, traded. just getting stops. You know, there was it was going back and forth, back and forth. They get a they get two stops in a row where we drive. I thought we got fouled, but it wasn't called. And then they got the basketball, drove down, and laid it in. And you know, you in a close game like this, a two, three possession cushion is all you need, and that's what they were able to get. You know, Caleb mentioned that their three point shooting, you know, it was, it was seven for fifteen in the second half, and it seemed to me like there was a lot of you know kind of drive, draw and dish type uh -huh. things where uh, you know, was it you know, how do you I don't know, I mean it, it, it seems to me that that's difficult to combat that because you, you know, you want that second better to come. The only thing, that, the only way that can, the only way thing that you can do to stop it is to not let them drive in. You know, you got to move your feet better. I think we were too, um, we were too, uh, we were too ready to come. You know, I think we should have just let the guy try to finish above us and then not let the kick out. But you know, for since October, we've been teaching come, come, come. You know, go get it, go get it, go get it, and then rotate out. So it's hard to for those guys to turn that off to turn that off in, in a half, you know. Coach, thanks so much for the time. Thank you. I'm sorry. I made you guys wait a little bit. I joined here post game. EJ Scroggins, Abdullah Muhammad joining us. Tough loss, first of all, guys, obviously. But he, uh, Abdullah, you were strong in that first half, playing aside 12 points in the first half. EJ, really strong defensive performance in the second half from you trying to pull things back. What, what did you guys feel you did well out there on the court today? Um, I mean, when I got to the line a lot, so I just had to make sure I made all my free throws, or I, mean, I try to make all my free throws. So I feel like I just did a pretty good job at just finishing my free throws. Uh, I feel like my defensive presence was there, like always. Just a few stuff we got to work on. I mean, like Caleb mentioned, when you guys played well in the first half, you guys were up to 16 at one point. What did you guys do so well that helped you build that lead? Um, I think like what D, uh, EJ was doing in the second half, just like defense was really there. Um, we were switching, we were talking, we were communicating, and we were just like hustling a lot in the first half. And um, we held them to like a 30 percentage field goal percentage, I think, it was the first half. So. I know both of you guys have had some struggles early season at the free throw line. EJ, both you and Abdullah started making those free throws. I noticed coaches even back people out on the free throw line and, and had you guys just up there alone. Is that something he's been doing to try and get you guys thinking more about just making them versus having people there? Or have you guys just started getting that confidence at the line? Uh, no, just the confidence level. Like, we just been putting in the work in the early morning, so that's just helped our confidence get up. When uh, they made their run and were able to take the lead, I mean, it did seem to me like, uh, you know, there was a little bit of a difficulty for you guys defending the three. Was, was there something they were doing to kind of free up some shooting for them? It just, they were just setting good screens. Like, they were just making good plays. So we just got to look over film and see what we got to do with what we was missing. When you talk about the, the passing game for you guys, it, it seems like 
you all, it, it, there's there's moments when you guys almost have the, 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 the try to go too far too quick. It is you guys like to go quick as an offense though, but it, is that something you're learning to try and slow the pace down at the end of games like that to to avoid having those big runs like teams have where it, where it explodes into uh, from a, a five zero run to a nine or twelve run. I mean, yeah, like I feel like um, we just have to like realize when they are pressing and when like they are putting pressure on us, and uh, we just have to like kind of like slow down and like play at our pace. We can't let them rush us. Um, if we just play at our pace and like just get it over before the 10 seconds, I think then we'll be chilling. Instead of trying to rush it and trying to score right away, then I think we'll be good. And the last one for you guys is you guys are sitting in that conversation still for the third and fourth spot. What's the what's going to be the difference in these final four games you guys have for conference play today? For both of you guys. All that matters is that we go 4-0. Yeah, we just got to win. That's all that matters. Yeah, we, we just got to win. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you guys talking with us. Yeah, of course.